guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Mizundu. Today, it's been too long, but we are back for our new Beauty in Australia video. I know you guys love this video and I didn't realize how much you love this video. So I'm going to do my best to be more frequent and current with what's new. So if you are new here, what we do is we go through everything that's new in beauty. So fragrance, uh, skincare and makeup mainly, maybe throw in a bit of body there and hair. Um, but we look at actual websites that are relevant to Australia. So Priceline, Mecca, Sephora, and then we go and have a look on Trend Mood to see what's new, what we can kind of talk about what's coming, maybe predict that's never coming to Australia or that's going to take a year to come to Australia, things like that. And we just kind of have a little community here um, and we discuss things and yeah, just have a little bit of fun. So I'm on Priceline. And as we know, they now have a new arrival section, but it's still a little bit unreliable because they'll put new products on that they've just updated. So it's not a new product, but it's new on the website. So I've got to be careful with what I do talk about. So sometimes I'm like, oh, that's definitely new, but sometimes I'm a bit iffy, so maybe I don't mention it. Um, but I can see a few things that I think might be actually new <laughs> and yeah we're just gonna have a little talk about it I actually feel like I haven't done this in a really long time I feel like it's been months so I apologize but we're back I'm using natural lighting so it's not so good today but we're just doing natural lighting <laughs> all right so I can see Q&A which is a really affordable skincare brand they have a grapefruit multi balm i'm pretty certain i felt this at the priceline event so twice a year i get invited to a priceline influencer event and they have all the priceline brands there and they talk about products and they gift some products and i didn't receive this product but i remember them talking about it and i think it is a new product so this is calming moisturizing and soothing it's only ten dollars for 15 ml it's not bad and this is calming, moisturizing, nourishing, protective, cruelty-free, alcohol-free, and vegan. So that there's a lot of balms out there that are quite expensive. So that's a nice affordable option. Oh, this looks new. But like I said, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So take what I say with price line with a grain of salt. La Roche-Posay and Thelios KA Plus Sunscreen. So I'm currently using their regular and The like it's non-greasy I think that's what it is and I quite like it it's my first time using it I know most people have already used it but this here is can aid in the prevention of solar keratosis and may reduce the risk of some skin cancers solar keratosis can appear as persistent raised rough dry and scaly patches or lesions on areas of the skin with high sun exposure they are first signs of cancer development and can also vary in color from skin color to red pigmented oh so i reckon that is new most commonly occurs in individuals aged 40 plus with light to fair skin tones weakened immune systems or occupations that have them working outside apologies for the lawn mowing it's like i knew i was gonna start filming so yeah i feel like that's a new one melting cream texture leaves no white marks and is non-greasy on the skin. So it's almost like the other one, but more targeted to solar keratosis. I didn't even know that was a thing. So that's interesting. And that one is $44.95 for 50 mils. 50 mils is pretty, pretty good size. Olay cleanser looks good. This is an Olay, this is a smoothing daily facial cleanser, retinol 24 and peptide. 473 mils. Oh my god, it's getting louder. They've got two lawn mowers going at once. Good lord. Anyway, I'll do my best to try and reduce the background noise. Anyway, so this face wash is smoothing, sulfate-free sulfate -free daily facial cleanser that hydrates to nourish skin surface, sulfate-free and creamy retinol formula with niacinamide, vitamin, oh, which is vitamin B3, peptides which hydrate while cleansing for soft, smooth skin. It sounds nice, but I don't know if you really need retinol in a cleanser, but it's huge and it's currently $20 and it's usually $40. Like that would last you a very long time and it's in a pump, which I love. So it sounds all right. 
but you don't know until you try. Kind and free range from Rimmel. I have seen that this is new and they also sent me some products which I'll be talking about in another video after this one. Um, I didn't receive this but I'll tell you what I did receive. This is the multi stick in Berry Sweet. There are five colours. So they did send me this clear brow wax. It's originally $19.95 but now it's $11.97 as I'm reading this, 40% off Rimmel. Um, I haven't used this, I probably won't use it just because I know I don't use brow waxes um, in the pots, they're the ones in the pots. I've had them both in the past and given them away, so I'm going to leave this aside unopened for a future giveaway, because I feel like it would be good, but I just know I won't use it. Disney Villains Collection from Essence, $10 for this Ursula blush, Maxi blush, that's going to be big. Oh, this one looks pretty. The um, Evil Queen from Snow White. They have a face serum for $9, very affordable. And then this eyeshadow palette is $23. This is the Evil Queen. And there's a um, mascara. So they've got like a whole collection. There's even an Evil Queen hand cream for $5.50. Oh, that's right. Astralis have released some lip blurs. And they've also extended their range of the lip oils or lip glosses. So one of their lip glosses, the Cherry Bomb, is one of my favorite lip glosses. I've already finished one and bought another. Um, but this blur is a hydrating matte finish lip blur. I'm not too interested in these. I think I've already got a lot of these kind of products and I'm not, they're not something I wear every day. There is two, four, six, eight, ten different shades. And they do look like they're more darker, redder shades. So yeah, I think I'll pass on this. Just because I, I'm not really interested in a lip blur. It's not my favorite. I kind of go a lipstick or a like a proper liquid lipstick. A lip blur kind of transfers but still is matte. I don't know. It's just not my favorite kind of lip product. So I'll probably pass on that even if it is good. And Natio have some eyeshadow palettes for $20 each. Someone asked me to do a full face of Natio. I don't own any Natio. So tell me your favorite Natio products and maybe I'll give them a try. But yeah, they've got some new eyeshadow palettes which look nice. I'd probably wait till they go on sale and then maybe buy a few things if there is a demand. Just because I don't own any Natio. I don't know if this is new or not, but it looks really nice. This is the La Roche-Posay Effaclar Micro Peeling Purifying Face and Body Gel Cleanser, 400ml for $39.95. So another huge bottle. Suitable for use as cleanser for face and body. Targets pimples on the face, chest and back while also helping to reduce marks. That'd be great for teenagers that, you know, get, or anyone really, not just teenagers, who get like um, breakouts on their chest and back. And being La roche posay I reckon it would work. It's got LHA and salicylic acid micro exfoliates and purifies the skin, helping to eliminate dead skin cells deeply unclog pores and reduce excess sebum, so oil. Interesting. The hair care goodie bag is sold out. Those things go so fast because they're good bags. I certainly don't need any more hair care, so I was going to pass on that one. Okay, what is next? Sephora? Sephora. Evo, the brand, the hair care brand is now at Sephora. I can see all their ranges says new. Mecca also pretty recently took on Evo, so it looks like they've taken over the world. I think they used to be on just Adore Beauty, so it looks like they've extended their retailers, which is cool if you're a fan of Evo. I'm not going to do go through literally everything because not everything is that exciting. Latelier Parfum, looks like they've got a few new ones. I feel like they were already there, but maybe they've just got some new scents. We've got Hot Splash. Green Crush and Salty Wood. I want to smell, I want to smell, I want to read Hot Splash. This is uh, Opus 3 Hot Splash Eau de Parfum evokes sea, sun and sexy, a strong energy shot where the refreshing lemon tree becomes one with the sunny ylang ylang and the deep vetiver. Lemon tree, ylang ylang and vetiver, that's it. Pretty simple. I don't know, that brand doesn't really entice me that much. But you just don't know unless you smell it. 
Goldfield and Banks, the fragrance brand, have Silky Woods Agarwood Botanical Series Deluxe Set. Okay. So the Silky Woods I know already existed. I think they actually came out with an X-ray of the Silky Woods. I think I saw Lauren May Beauty, but she has a fragrance channel. I think she talked about it. Whereas this offers a de deluxe travel case in this elegantly presented Silky Woods set. So you get the 100ml and the 10ml and that beautiful leather travel case. $415. I'm not going to spend $415 for that special case, but nonetheless, it's quite pretty. Makeup by Mario the Concealer. Did I miss that? Has that been out for a while? Did it only just come to Australia or is it like brand, brand new? I actually don't know. I feel like I missed, missed that. I have not tried the foundation. I've never tried Makeup by Mario. The one thing I want to try is their cream blushes in the pan. They look stunning. I just, I haven't made a purchase. This is a pro performance multi-use concealer that visibly lifts, blurs and brightens the under eye and complexion for awakened appearance with natural skin like finish. Medium coverage, buildable formula, lift and lock technology, caffeine infused concealer. Right. Yes, Makeup Forever has a new foundation. It's their HD Skin but a glow formula. So I have their original, not the original, but like the HD Skin that they reformulated. And I really like it. I took it away with me because I had the mini bottle. It's just a really perfect um, natural finish foundation. I really, really liked it. So this one is a glowy version of that for, of that foundation. It's ideal for dry, normal, mature or sensitive skin with an extensive range of 38 inclusive shades, a natural, medium to buildable coverage with a radiant finish. I don't think I would buy this because I think I need, I have an oily skin type, so I need more of that original formula. Okay, this brand Salt and Stone, I want to try so bad. This is the Black Rose and Oud Hand Cream. I want to try Rose and Oud is some of my favorite um, coupled scents. Rose and Oud are like a match made in heaven. I feel like I would love this. So they have deodorant, body care, they've got hand cream. I really want to try the deodorant. I'm not in the market for a deodorant, so I'm not going to buy it anytime soon. But if I am, I want to try the salt and stone one. Uh, I think it's their vetiver and something else. Um, but I love the sounds of Rose Nude. But I don't know if I want Rose Nude under my armpits. I feel like certain scents, you want you want it to be fresh under there. My favorite one is from A Bit Hippie. Their deodorant from Priceline is 10 out of 10. That's what I use through summer. Love it. Um, but this is Salt and Stone is a brand as a whole. I want to try sophisticated scents for everyday wear. Excuse me. Thank you. Because a lot of like hand creams and body creams are very like gourmand, fresh, fruity. Sometimes you want maybe a little bit more intense, a little bit sexy. So I would love to see if this was in store. I don't go in store to Sephora often, but if I do, I would love to see this to smell the different scents. Because they have, say they have four scents, they have each product in that scent, which I love. I think Rose and Nude is their new scent because they've got the body wash here, the body lotion. Oh, that would smell so good. Um, Ultraviolet, oh, it looks like they've got the deodorant. They've got the deodorant, 33 bucks. It's a bit expensive, but if we get the 20% off, what's that? Three, $6.60 off of that. Yeah, I'd buy it. I'd buy it as a, like a one-off luxury. So Ultraviolet has the Queen Screen, which is an existing um, serum sunscreen. They have the Super Glow Drops Illuminating. What does that mean? Oh, like a pearlescent. And then they've got the bronzing with SPF for 50. I reckon this would be on top of their sunscreen because you're not going to be using a teaspoon of bronzing glow drops on your face. I can't imagine you would. Um, but yeah, they're all doing it. They're all copying Drunk Elephant. There, there's a lot of originality left. Let's, can we just talk about that? Maybe I'll do a get ready with me about that. Look, I'm all here for a bit of duping. I, I'm not against it. But whole brands are basing themselves off of other people's products. I think that I need to do a video on that and just 
talk about that because I feel like that's something you guys have we've all thought about it and I just feel like a lot of brands they're not they don't have original product anymore it's just copying what everyone else is doing to make a quick buck it's interesting anyway so Laneige has a water bank blue hyaluronic gel moisturizer I saw other ones but I know that they're not brand new so I don't really know what's going on there but I don't think I've seen this white one Laneige does hydration like no other I tell you their water gel sleeping mask I've gone through two tubs so good one of the first K Beauty products I tried was that sleeping mask it is super hydrating but still lightweight so you can use it for all skin types I used it back in the day when I used to have really dry skin had babies now I have oily skin I don't know what happened hormones took over but I've had all skin types I've had dry normal and now I'm oily and it works for all skin types beautiful sleeping mask if you are interested just really hydrating and like light and fresh it's delicious makeup forever have a artist face powder bronzer it is a blush I'm certainly not in the market I'm not in the market for any makeup or anything let's be honest but we're still going to talk about it I could talk about how I want it but I'm probably not going to buy it the this is $57 four shades I just feel like they would nail bronzer because they're good with powder products so let's have a look at the different shades here definitely not dark enough what's going on there how interesting our Sephora hasn't got the deep shade there are one two three four Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight shades and we only got four and we did not get the deep shades. It looks like we've gotten the first four shades. <gasps> what is going on with, with Australia? Like, oh, don't get me started. It's like they don't want to acknowledge that there's dark skin people in this country. Why are we only getting the four lightest shades? There are eight shades. That's ridiculous. That's, I'm not, I wouldn't buy it just on that. That, that annoys me. And they can't do, oh, we're gonna bring it in later. No, you bring it in all at once, thank you very much. Givenchy has a skincare and concealer. So they have this in a foundation. I've actually heard this is good. 775 reviews and it's got four and a half stars. Oh, that's gonna be good. It's gonna be hydrating. Oh, their color range is despicable as well. Oh, it's despicable. Oh, instantly corrects and covers, but also blurs dark circles, imperfections and irregularities. 24 hour wear multi-purpose concealer. But what is it? Hydration and radiance illuminates. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it'd be a bit like a skincare infused that they're all doing uh, concealer. Tiffany & Co. This bottle of fragrance looks, looks a bit lush. This is the Rose Gold Intense Eau de Parfum. Pink Pepper Orange Flower Patchouli. Mm, that's, that's a little bit boring. Sparkling citrus and fruits. I do love pink pepper and fragrance though. I do have to say maybe this smells lovely But it's gonna probably smell like everything else and if I had to guess this sounds really good This is from one size now one size They bring out original products They bring out original products everything that they launch. I feel like no one else is doing it I mean you've got your generic but their tinted blur balm that was before eavesdrop the eavesdrops they have that sweat proof and it really is mattifying primer I own that here we have the secure the glow tacky hydrating primer and I love that they've said tacky because that's what a lot of people want they want it to prime their foundation they want it to stick and that is going to give it long wear so this if I open the description it should be hydrating but it should also be for long wear Boost Radiance, giving a smoother makeup application for a glowy look all day. Um, made with a unique BOBA complex to prevent moisture loss, brighten and refresh and protect skin from environmental stresses. The base tack, feel of the formula, grips foundation for long wear makeup. Love it. Okay. All right. I'm going to show you this picture. It's They've got three different primers and they're all amazing. I mean, I've only tried one, but I'm assuming the others are great because we've got, I've got the Secure the Sweat, the one at the top, Waterproof Sweat Proof Matte. Then we have Secure the Blur, Pore Mineralizing Skin Blurring Matte. And then we have now the Long Wear Hydrating Radiant Secure the Glow. I want to try that Secure the Glow. I reckon that'd be fantastic. One size I'm, I'm, I used to, 
I, I'm going to be the first to admit I used to speak poorly of one size because I was like, oh, it's just another influencer brand. It's just another influencer brand. I take back my words and I do apologize because I think they're killing it. I think they're killing it. They're not copying everyone else. Natasha Denona brought out my mini dream collection. So we've got the very delayed blush. It's a beautiful blush. It's beautiful. $35. I mean, it's a mini, you only need mini blushes. You don't need big blushes. I mean, one blush can take 10 years to finish. Um, and then the eyeshadow palette, $47. Beautiful. But I do prefer my, is that mini star? No. The most recent one. Pat McGrath, we've got um, 10 years later, the uh, Mothership 11, because I can read Roman numerals. Go me. Uh, eyeshadow palette. It looks just like all the others. I don't know how she gets away with that. Has no one said, hey, maybe this is too similar to the others? Should we mix it up? No one said that to Pat. Everyone's afraid of Pat. Uh, speaking of Pat, it looks like she's maybe reformulated Intensifies Longwear Primer. I believe there was one before, but I feel like this is repackaged, maybe reformulated. Okay, Huda Beauty, who has the best powder, arguably, in the whole wide world, has a new shade of the Easy Bake Loose Powder in Peach. So I have one. I have the Cherry Blossom, the pink one. They've brought out a peach one, which is great because that's for um, more medium up skin tones, whereas the pink, they're kind of saying it's for all skin tones. Like you can use the pink one on deeper skin tones, but I think the peach is more flattering to a deeper skin tone. Either way, I love it. I don't think I'd be able to wear the peach. I think it would uh, show up dark on my skin, but I love that they've brought it out. And I certainly don't need it, but I want to get one of the regular shades because it's so, it's so good. You know what else is a really amazing um, powder? Just like Huda Beauty is the one size. Fantastic. I almost bought this Fenty Beauty concealer but I stopped myself because I buy all this stuff for content, but it's my money. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to spend $50 on a concealer. Not today. So I decided not to because um, I don't need it. It was more just to review, but like, <sighs> that's a discussion for another day. That's 50 shades. That's, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. 12 hour hydrating long wear concealer that comes in a range of 50 medium coverage shades with natural second skin finish. Long wear resists creasing. We can't say crease, like no creasing because that's impossible. Fading and sweat humidity and won't settle into fine lines. It, it will because it's a liquid going into a line, but uh, whatever. This is cute, but one, one color only. So, for light skins only, this is typical Tarte. They brought out a eye and cheek palette, Maracuja Juicy, Juicy, <laughs> Maracuja Juicy and Juicy Eye and Cheek Palette. That is hard to say. Uh, it looks really nice, but it's only one shade. Can you, can you do at least two? This is a massive brand, massive brand. There's literally no excuse. Okay. New fragrance. There's a Femme and a Homme of the Gucci Elixir De Parfum Pour Femme. I know my French is bad, but fragrance is always in French, so you're just going to have to deal with that. Um, Ambery Floral. All right, you've got my attention. Enticing scent featuring a sensual, that's right, I said sensual, vanilla and tonka base with floral wisteria heart and a citric mandora and a bergamot. Well, that's a bit sexy. I like the sounds of that. And I would like to smell that. Well, we're going to make our way to Mecca. Some would say the most exciting part and also my most opinionated because if you don't know, I work at Mecca. I work in fragrance specifically, but I love everything. <laughs> I love it all. There is one thing I want to buy. One thing. And you're going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked. It's the new... Sol de Janeiro body cream, the purple one, the 59. I love it. It's violet and vanilla. I love it. I want to buy it, lather it on my body, and then do a vanilla fragrance on top, like uh, gentle fluidity. 
that's my thoughts. I think I'm going to get it. It's just a matter of time. I've been eyeing it every week when I'm at work. I'm like, I want you and I want you bad. And I haven't bought it, but I think I'm going to buy it. So that's the one thing I want to buy. Pretty good. Usually I want like 10 things. So I'm trying to be sensible this year because I just got so much. And I actually get sent a lot these days, like on and off, hot and cold. But it's been a little bit hot in the new year, so I certainly don't need to buy anything. Let's get into it. Stop talking about myself. We've got the Summer Fridays Dream Lip Oil. There's four shades for $45. They haven't sold out. I thought they would sell out like one day. When I tell you the teenagers flock, we're Summer Fridays because we've moved Summer Fridays. Like it used to be one spot now. Like, we're Summer Fridays and they're like a panic in their voice. Where is it? And we're like, oh, it's just here. Oh my God. They literally run up to me, oh my god, they've got the lip oils. It's crazy. You know how everyone's talking about like Sephora kids? Well, we have Mecca kids in Australia. And it's, it is exactly like it's being described on TikTok and Instagram, how they are just in a panic state of give me, give me, give me. If they can't afford it, give me a sample. Or they lather it on their face and destroy the testers. It's crazy. We can't keep enough testers because they use them all, it's crazy. Anyway, that's my little moan for the day. Um, all right, there's lots. Let's just get hot into it. We've got the Westman Atelier Super Loaded Tint. I actually, this is $100. That is wild, but Westman Atelier is luxury. It was nice. I can't say it's like groundbreaking. I swatched it on my skin. I haven't tried it on my face. Um, but yeah, it looked quite nice. If you're a Westman Atelier fan, I would definitely give it a little go. I am interested in the new Glow Recipe um, Fruit Babies. They've updated the products to include some of their new stuff, uh, which I like. So they've got that Avocado Ceramide Cleanser, the new eye serum cream, whatever it is, the toner, the cream, the plump, hyaluronic plump cream, amazing. And then I see, I think the nice and dew drops. I actually want to try this because these are the these are products I would really like to try because the other fruit babies, the older one with the older products, I wasn't tempted, but these are actually products I'd like to try. And I've never bought Glow Recipe, so I wouldn't mind trying that, but I'm not in a rush. I've got a lot of skincare. I've got a lot. So go to Decrease, which is a new eye cream for $55. Did you see um, Zoe? She just sold Go To for $89 million. $89 million. She doesn't need to win the lottery. Anyway, so she's still talking on social media and she did the talk about teenagers and skincare and they don't know what they're buying. But buy these go-to products. I thought it was a little bit funny. Of course, she's a woman in business. But she, what is she trying to sell? She's got $89 million. She doesn't need to sell anything anymore. You know what I mean? If I had $89 million, I'd retire. Take my business. Take it. I'm going on holidays. I mean, that's just me. <laughs> what? There's a new RMS Eyelights Cream Shadow Shade. Oh, I think I did talk about this. I think I did see this. Yes. Mm-hmm. I remember now. Like, add to cart. I've already got four. I've got four. I love it. I love. So what's the new shade? Supernova, I reckon. Or Sunbeam. Or Flare. How many new ones are there? I honestly probably wouldn't buy another one because I already have four, but I am missing a bronzy shade. I do want to just point that out. If I had a bronzy shade, I'd have everything I want. I've got a champagne, I've got a green, I've got a mauvey color, and I've got a super like neutral torpy shade. A bronzy shade would just like make the collection whole. So I might see if I have this shade flare at work. Maybe give it a little swatch. Okay, Kevin Aquan, the contrast stick. This is $94. It's ludicrous. There are four shades and they're pretty decent shades. I don't think they go dark enough. The formula is beautiful. I have swatched these in store. Creamy, pigmented, but not heavily pigmented. Super easy to blend. Like it's a stunning formula, but no one can convince me that $94 is an appropriate amount for a cream bronzer. So for that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. But if you do want to spend it, it's a beautiful formula. Oh, uh, Jisoo, Gisu, I don't know how to pronounce it. They have a new hair perfume. I have the original honey perfume. This is wild rose and honey. 
I reckon it'll smell nice. I like the hair perfume. I bought it in a set, so I didn't like go to buy the hair perfume, but I want to try the hair oil and hair mask. It was like a little set. And I don't mind it. I don't love it. It's not something I would say buy, buy, buy it. But it's okay. Like it's a nice, if you want like a little freshen on your hair, it is nice. So I would be interested to smell that, but I'm not in any rush to like, I'm, I'm not like I have to smell it. Mecca Max have this over the top holographic eyeshadow top, but this is stunning. So this is $24. You've got three shades and they're all holographic. Here, let me show you this picture. So one is like your pink shift. It doesn't come off straight pink. It's These are just the shifts. So they're topper shades. So they've got that iridescent kind of translucency to them. But the top one is pink shifting. The middle one is like that, uh, like not space cowboy, but like that red and brown and green and blue kind of shift. And then the base one is uh, like a gold green shift. Very pretty. Beautiful formula. Mecca Max do wonderful eyeshadows if you want affordable. I definitely recommend their eyeshadows. Uh, Laura Mercier has a matching concealer to the Real Flawless Foundation. So this is the Real Flawless Concealer for $57. This feels really nice too. I felt it. It's definitely got that similar texture to the foundation where it's like pigmented but not heavily pigmented. Um, serum-y but not like creamy. It's, it feels like a nice concealer. I haven't tried it on my face but I did swatch it in the store. Chantify have released, I'm going to get the Trend Mood photo, the most beautiful collection I've ever seen. It's like gold encrusted. Oh my god, it's stunning. Actually, let me go to Chantify's. So, we got everything in store. So we got the highlighter, the blur powder, that lipstick with shimmer in it it's like not heavily pigmented but it's still got shimmer in it the lip gloss and this product at the front is a single eyeshadow every single product is stunning stunning severely overpriced but if you have the money or you want to lash out stunning i want every single product i think my favorite was the eyeshadow it was like a glitter topper but not glitter like shimmer but Beautiful. Um, and then the other product, the Radiant Glow Blur Powder, has this gold, looks like a gold flake on top. It's not, but it looks like it's stunning. The packaging, 10 out of 10. Looks like Bobbi Brown has brought out a vitamin rich smoothing serum. So I'm guessing that's going to be a little bit more lightweight for under your makeup, which is nice because the cream might be a little bit heavy. Like I find it can be a little bit heavy at times for my oilier skin. I feel like that would be a nice alternative to be a lighter texture. Toka has a new fragrance called Lucia or Lucia. Um, it smells nice. It's typical Toka where it's just very pleasant, uh, feminine, floral and fruity. Uh, so we have lemon oil, grapefruit mandarin, marine accord, fig geranium, um, vetiver, cedarwood and tobacco. I don't smell the tobacco or cedarwood. To me, it's very marine citrusy floral so yeah i think this smells nice but i don't feel like it's exceptionally different to what they already have but definitely give it a smell if you like really nice pleasant uh perfumes joe malone brought out a trio of rose fragrances um i'm showing you a picture of the set of the nine mils but they also have them in their regular 50 ml size individually i have smelt them i thought they were a bit forgettable um, I didn't think they were anything special. If you're a rose lover, definitely give them a smell. But I thought they were pretty average, if I'm honest. And I love Jo Malone, so that's saying something. So Edition de Parfum by Frederick Marle um, has brought to Australia. They're not new, but they're new to Mecca. They're um, Middle Eastern fragrances. So we have Promise in store, but we never had the other three. So when I was in Dubai, I smelt the other three. There's the Moon, Dawn, and Dusk. And my favorite was Dawn, absolutely stunning. They are so expensive. So they are $1,200 for the 100 mil. It's, I think even, no, they're differently priced. I'm looking at the moon. I can't remember the difference between the moon and dusk. I think dusk was the one I didn't like. I think dusk was the one that smelt, it was portrait of a lady with oud and I wasn't a fan. So the moon conducting the rhythm of life in the Middle East her wreathal appearance hailing the beginning and end of all festivity. 
Yet in Arabic invoking the moon is also an allusion to romance, my moon, an ador adoringly grand grandeur, grandiose term for one's beloved, beloved that speaks of beauty and eternal devotion, exuding a warm, opulent quality, rose, oud, and frankincense meet a surprising abundance of ripe red berries. I think I liked this one, but my favorite was definitely Dawn. Um, so there are two sizes, 50 ml is 870, and then 100 ml is 1,265. BS and Durga have released body range for their perfumes. So some of them are their candle scents and some of them are perfume scents. So we have Bixer After Rain Hand Lotion, which is a candle scent or a home collection scent. Um, they have released a body wash and a body lotion of I Don't Know What, which is one of my favorite fragrances at Mecca. Uh, but it's $120, so that's a big old no for me. $120 for a body lotion, it's just not okay. But you know, these things are already expensive. So the night, aha, not dusk, it's the night from Frederick Mal. I think that's the portrait of a lady one. I think that's it. That's it from Mecca, we did it. <laughs> so lastly, I will go to Trend Mood. Gosh, I haven't been on Trend Mood in a long time, so I'm not gonna go too far down. Okay, let's just start here. The L'Oreal Infall Infallible Three Second Setting Mist, I would buy this in a heartbeat. I love a long wear setting spray. L'Oreal's first ever makeup setting spray that sets and extends your makeup for that fresh, just applied look that lasts up to 24 hours. Anti-melt, anti-fade, anti-crack, a micro fine texture to set and extend your makeup look. I'll be buying that probably. <laughs> I wanna try this from Tatcha, the Matcha Cleanse. Their deep cleanse, I just finished. I think I've got maybe one use left. I love it for oilier skin. This is the Matcha Cleanse Daily Clarifying Gel Cleanser. Fragrance free, soap free clarifying gel cleanser that decongests pores and balances oil without stripping or reduce makeup slip off for primed shine free skin. I would like to try it just because their cleansers are top tier. Glow Recipe have announced a Sun Glow version of their Niacinamide Dew Drops. These are going to sell, oh, they're going to sell out so fast. They're gonna sell it so fast. So Glow Recipe, they're hugely viral, but they do bring out unique products. Like, I really do believe that. I think these dew drops, not revolutionary, but still really good products. So I, I, I get it. Um, I saw someone on TikTok accidentally, accidentally got sent these before they even announced it, and that was weeks ago now. So I reckon it was an accident, because um, no one else got it. Just this one girl got it. And she's like, I don't know if I can share this, but she put it, it looked beautiful. I mean, it's, I don't, I don't get into the hype of all these things, but this one, I, I can feel myself wanting this. I reckon I'll just skip getting the nice in my dew drops and get this one instead. Ooh, lush. Oh, these milk makeup cooling water jelly tins look so cute. It's not for me because I'm a makeup wearer. I feel like this is more for people who do dint and moisturizer and that's it. I do a little bit more than that. <laughs> so um, this is a sheer lip and cheek stain. I don't like the stain aspect either, but I think they nailed the packaging and everyone's been wanting to try it. So I think they've done well, but yeah, I just don't think it's for me. Oh, Cossus BB Burst, I've heard not good. It's such a shame because they're, they're a company that is like really hit and miss. It's like amazing or it's just total flop. I just what I feel with Cossus. So this is the Tint and Moisture Gel Cream with Copper Peptides. I was, I was really keen for this. This is replacing the face oil. Face oil discontinued. This is its replacement. Nothing like it though, because this is a gel cream. But people, you see like peeling, it just sits on top of the skin. It doesn't, doesn't have that, doesn't melt into the skin at all. It just sits on top. So I don't know, I might, I'll probably get a sample when it does eventually come to Mecca, but it's not something I'll just blind buy. I definitely want to try it first. I like the idea of this highlighter from Fenty. Um, I really like it. It's the Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter. I'm not going to buy it because I don't really wear highlighter that much, nor do I need it. And so I already have a lot. Um, but this I love. It's so, it's a soft version. You know how their highlighters are really intense? This is soft, it's really wearable um, kind of highlighter. I love it, I love the packaging. I think it looks fantastic, but still wouldn't buy it. 
Magic Filter Glow Booster, light coverage for a natural glow from Essence. We might get this, we don't get everything from Essence. I feel like they don't really consider us a big market. Um, a perfected complexion and a soft focused effect. Okay. Okay, so it's like all the other Glow Booster kind of products. Nude sticks have a blush tint. Nude screen with SPF. I haven't heard much about this at all. They're, they're sticks, perfection. Okay, we don't get Road Skincare, the Hailey Bieber line, but I just gotta give her credit. Look at this, I would buy that. This phone case that fits her lip balm perfectly, genius, genius. I don't even know what to say. It's genius. Like It makes you wanna buy the lip balm just so it fits into the phone case. It's amazing. NYX, what's this? Blur Screen SPF 30 Primer. Three-in-one blurring primer. Ooh, that's a maybe. I hated the tint. I hated the blur tint. I decluttered it. But this looks nice. I might be tempted by this. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm not going down to months ago. I, I can't do it. And I've skipped through the American stuff. So I think that's kind of everything I want to talk about today. Yeah. I think that's it. Uh, let me know down below what you're most excited for. If there's anything that you would love me to review, like absolutely love, please write it down below. I might consider it <laughs> if there's enough demand. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.